So I'm from Preston, Idaho, a um, little town in southeastern Idaho, and I'm the ninth of ten kids. So there's a lot of us. My two parents, I don't know how they did it. Just grew up on a small farm there and had a good time growing hay and chasing cows. We have a song this year. Um, it's called Backwards, um, and it's a country song, and apparently since I'm from Preston, I'm the only farm boy around, they, they're like, oh, let's have Dave sing it. It starts with, uh, I was sitting on a bar stool in a barbecue joint in Tennessee when this old boy walked in and he sat right down next to me. I could tell he'd been through some hard times. There were tear stains on his old shirt. And he said, you want to know what you get when you play a country song backwards. And then we basically sing about all the things that we lost in our country songs. You know, your truck and your hair and your jobs and all the things that country people tend to lose in their country songs. And uh, you play backwards, you get it all back. And so it's, it's really a fun time. My testimony grew immensely on my mission. Before I went, it was kind of expected to serve a mission, and I'd always planned on it, and there was never a time where I, was, where I thought that I wouldn't go. But I don't think I understood or realized that on that mission, it would change my testimony forever. You know, and if I hadn't served a mission, I probably still would have a testimony of the gospel. But to have it so deep in my veins that, that I can't deny the truthfulness of it, I don't know if that would have ever come had I not served a mission. So I know that Jesus is the Christ, and that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is His kingdom on this earth. And I know above all else that the Book of Mormon is true, and that because of that, I know that Joseph Smith was a prophet, that this church is true, and that Jesus Christ is the Savior. Regardless of what we're going through in our lives, we can turn to Him, and He has the answers, and He knows us, and, and will help us in any problem that we have. I was at a, a mission conference, it was a meeting, and we're all sitting there, I think there was you know, well over 150 missionaries. We had a new mission president come into the mission, and he stood up to speak. And I had, you know, an overwhelming feeling that the man that was standing before us was called of God. And I had this, this feeling where, you know, I felt, okay, well, I'm going to follow this guy through anything. You know, whatever he asked me to do, I'm going to do it. It was cool, too, because I also had that feeling of the Savior at the same time. At the end of the meeting, we sang, I stand all amazed. And I did. You know, I stood all amazed in that moment at that meeting that the Savior allowed me to gain that understanding. So when I sing, I stand all amazed. Now, um, it's different to me. It reminds me of those feelings and those thoughts and those impressions that I had. Oh, it is wonderful that He should care for me enough to die for me. Oh, it is wonderful, wonderful to me. McKay Crockett is our director for Vocal Point, and I could go on about him for days. Um, he's done so much for me personally, as well as for Vocal Point as a group. Um, he puts in countless hours um, ensuring that you know we are having a great experience, as well as Everyone who listens to Vocal Point is uplifted and, and has a good experience as well. And I'm so grateful for McKay Crockett. He's done so much for me.